In this video, we are going to discuss about how to draw a tree from a graph. In previous video, we discussed about how to draw a graph and what are the definitions available in network topology. So I will keep the link in the description for definition in network topology and how to draw a graph video. Okay, so here the first step is drawing the graph and then we need to identify a tree. Okay, the f these are all the rules for drawing a tree. So we have to strictly follow this in order to do the link and loop analysis as well as uh, general node analysis. In order to do that in network topology, we need to know how to draw a tree by following the rules which I am providing here. So here uh, we need to place all voltage sources in a tree. So first point is we need to draw a graph and then identify a tree. How do we identify a tree? We need to place all voltage sources in a tree. We need to place all voltage sources in a tree. Okay, from the graph I am going to draw a tree. While drawing a tree, so if I have uh, n nodes, totally we will be having n minus 1 twigs. Twigs are called branches of a tree. So among this n minus 1 branches or n minus 1 twigs, I need to make sure all the voltage sources I need to include in a tree. Okay, all the voltage sources should be in a tree. Okay, that will be considered as one of the twigs. Place all the current sources in the co tree. All the current sources should be in the co tree. And uh, fourth point is place all control voltage branches for voltage controlled dependent sources in the tree. So all the voltage related components, for example, control voltage sources, it means current control voltage source or voltage control voltage source we call it as dependent sources so all the dependent voltage uh, voltage sources i need to keep it in a tree if possible so here uh, the term given if possible but in the case of voltage sources i need to i need to keep it in a tree there is no other way current sources i should keep it in a co tree but in the case of uh, voltage control dependent sources the control dependent sources uh, that can be in a tree if possible okay place all the control current branches for uh, current control dependent sources in a co tree control current branches in a co tree if possible okay so dependent sources uh, in the current source i need to keep it in the co tree voltage source i need to keep it in the tree okay so these are all those you have to remember so mainly the rules are talking about only voltage sources and the current sources so we can easily remember this voltage sources should be in a tree current sources should be in a co tree dependent voltage sources if possible i need to keep it in a tree Cu dependent current sources if possible i need to keep it in a co tree okay now we are going to see the relationship between twigs and links what is twig each and every branch of a tree i call it as twig what is link each and every branch of a co-tree, I call it as a link. The number of twigs on a tree is always one less than number of nodes. So this I already discussed. Suppose if the n is the number of nodes, the number of twigs in a tree will be n minus 1. Will be n minus 1. Here they are using capital letter n. Okay. Also, if L represents the total number of links, L represents the total number of links, while B represents the total number of branches, I can write like this. L equal to B minus N minus 1, which is equal to B minus N plus 1. This is the relation between link, branch and node. Link, branch and node. Okay, using this relation, I can find out. If I know two things, I can find the third one. I can find the third one. Okay. Next, these are all the properties of tree. The tree consists of all the nodes of a graph. So I am going to draw a tree from a graph. While drawing a tree, I need to make sure all the nodes are available in the tree also. If graph has n number of nodes, then the tree will have n minus 1 branches. If the graph has n number of nodes, the tree will have n minus 1 branches. Okay, this has already discussed there will be no closer path in a tree this is one important point 
we need to remember there should not be any closed path in a tree there can be many possible different trees for a given graph depending on number of nodes and branches okay one graph might have any number of possible different trees based on the number of nodes and branches okay there is no limitation for that there is no limitation for that these are all the properties of the tree So now uh, we will see how to draw a graph from that, how to draw a tree and a quote. Give a minute. Okay. Okay. So draw the graph for the following circuit and represent the tree and quote tree. Represent the tree and quote tree. So here, so this is the given circuit diagram. I circled it. This is a given circuit diagram. In that, we have number of branches. As I already told in the last video, the number of branches. Branches means what? Branches is a two terminal element I call it as branch. We have 30 volt source. It is a two terminal element. Two ampere source. It is a two terminal element. 6 Vx. Two terminal element. 3 ampere source. Two terminal element. 5 ohm. It is a two terminal element. 4 ohm is a 2 terminal element and 1 ampere is a 2 terminal element. So all the elements we call it as 2 terminal. Okay, all the elements in the circuits are 2 terminals. And each and every 2 terminal element will be represented as a line segment. In order to draw a graph as I discussed in the previous video. So I am going to draw this. The all 4 nodes and draw. 30 volts rows I can draw as a solid line. 6 Vx can be drawn, 5 ohms can be replaced with the line segment, 4 ohms can be replaced with the line segment. So kindly adjust this. You can draw the straight lines. So here 3 ampere source can be drawn like this and then 1 ampere source can be drawn like this and then we have 2 ampere source connected between these 2 ohms. So it is my graph. So from this graph, I need to draw a tree. So while drawing a tree, I need to follow some rules. All the voltage sources must be in tree. All the current sources must be in co-tree. Okay, here total number of nodes is 4. So I will take all the 4 nodes first. All the 4 nodes are drawn. So I am going to uh, connect all the nodes using tree, but there should not be any closure path. And I need to make sure all the voltage sources should be in a tree. Okay, so 30 volt source should be in a tree. So I am going to connect this. It is my 30 volt source. And 6 Vx is also a control voltage source that should be in a tree. Okay, we don't have any other voltage source. So I can make connections anywhere. So I can connect a 5 ohm. I can mark, form a tree. Or I can connect a 4 ohm and I can form a tree. But I cannot use 1 ampere or 2 ampere to complete it because 2 ampere cannot be used because uh, the fourth node will not be connected if I use 2 ampere source. So 3 ampere source also cannot be used because all the current sources should be kept in a co tree. Should be kept in a co tree. So I can either use 4 ohms or 5 ohms. I am going to use 4 ohms and complete a tree. So this is my tree. So there is another possible way to draw a tree by connecting the 5 ohms. Instead of 4 ohms, I can connect the 5 ohms. But 30 volt source and 6 Vx cannot be changed. Now, I need to compare this tree on the graph. The line segments available in the tree and line segment which is missing in the tree which is available in the graph. We call it as co tree. Okay, uh, now I am going to draw the co tree by using the daughter lines okay by using the daughter lines okay if you see all the current sources are covered in the coterie so this is as per the rule i need to cover all the current sources in the coterie okay so daughter uh, daughter line shows coterie each and every branch of the coterie we call it as link or cord okay and each and every branch of a tree, I call it as 
klik. Next problem. Okay, just pause the video and try to do it on your own. The second question is draw the graph for the following circuit and represent tree and co-tree. Draw the graph for the following circuit and represent tree and co-tree. Okay. So we need to draw a graph and then represent a tree and a co-tree. So all the things should be done. So here if you see uh, we have 1s, 2s. Yes. Okay. So what is this S? Yes? S yes is Siemens. Okay, the unit S is Siemens which is equal to mo we write as m h o which will be equal to 1 by ohm which will be equal to 1 by ohm so i don't bother it right now so if you am solving a nodal analysis or mesh analysis i need to take care of this so that i'll discuss later okay while discussing the nodal or mesh i'll discuss now we'll just draw the tree and co tree and I'll let us see how to draw it okay now i'll just consider this is one node 2, 3, 4 and 5. There are totally 5 nodes. I will uh, take all the 5 nodes. All the 5 nodes are taken. Each and every 2 terminal elements should be replaced with the line segment. Ok, line segment. 2 S is replaced with the line segment. 1 S is replaced with the line segment. 4 V Y is replaced with the line segment. 2 Vx is replaced with the line segment and 1 volt source is replaced with the line segment and 1 S is replaced with the line segment 2 ampere is replaced with the line segment and 2 S is replaced with the line segment it is your graph it is your graph ok so I will repeat what I told here S is Siemens 2 S I have written this S is Siemens which is equal to Mo which will be equal to 1 by ohm ok reciprocal of ohm is mo which is equal to same ok now I have drawn a graph now I need to draw a tree so while drawing a tree I need to make sure all the voltage sources should be kept in a tree all the voltage sources should be kept in a tree so let us draw a tree I will take all the nodes because all the nodes should be covered in a tree so this voltage source should be covered this voltage source should be covered and there should not be any closer path so I am going to connect this and I am going to connect this it is my tree so each and every branch of this tree we call it as twig ok the branches which are missing here and branches which are available in the graph we call it as co-tree we call it as co-tree so that I am going to draw as a dotted line Each and every branch of this code tree is link. Is link. Okay. Here, uh, let us take the number of nodes is capital N, which is equal to 5. Number of twigs in the tree is N minus 1, which is 4. Number of links is number of branches minus number of twigs. Okay. Total number of branches minus total number of twigs. So here L is equal to B minus N minus 1. Okay. So number of branches is 8. So L is equal to 8 minus 5 minus 1 which is 8 minus 4 equal to 4. There are totally 4 links. There are totally 4 links. So it is another question. This you can try it on your own. And I'll be discussing the same question in uh, general nodal analysis. Okay. So, thank you for your time. That's all for today. Thank you.